Sometimes when creating charts, we have missing or inexistent data, and this can make your chart look rather untidy. If we take the fruit sales file, it has 12 months of a year, number of sales for bananas, pears, and apples, but some of the months have no values whatsoever. They don't have a zero, they have no value, so the data is not there. So if I were to chart this, we could use our keyboard shortcut, or we could go the long way, so that I can choose the specific chart that I would like. So insert, I'd like a line chart with markers, I think. You can see here that the chart has spaces. If I resize that, where there's no data, so between there and there for the apples, we can see in the data there's no data for April, nothing appears. And that can mean that your chart looks a little truncated. If we want to join these two points up, that is achievable, but you just need to decide how. Now, how you join the two points up is you have the chart selected. We go to the chart tools design ribbon and choose select data. That then gives you this option here for hidden and empty cells. So we're dealing with empty cells. Effectively, what do we want to do? So we'll look what the choices are. One is to leave gaps, which is what's happening now. There is a gap. The second option is to map them as zeros. So effectively treat them as zeros and chart them on the graph. So if I say OK, then OK, you can see the missing gap here gets a zero. So the graph goes bang and then back up again. And the same here, October and November are empty. So it goes bang and back up again. That's quite not really the effect I was trying to achieve. If I go back into select data, hidden and empty cells, and choose the third option, connect the data points with a line. OK, OK. Then here, where there's no data for April, all that happens is the dot from March gets joined to the dot from May. Now, that's possibly the result you're after. So you can see the path of the sales, even if there isn't any sale in there, rather than the chart suddenly dropping right down to zero and coming back up. And the same happens at this side here. Although we only have a map for September and December, it doesn't then drop right down for October and November and come back up. It just joins the two dots together as a nice continuous line. And the same happens with our banana. So March to May, there's no drop to April. They're just a solid line to join the two together. And the same for August to October. August to October is joined with a continuous line. There's no marker here for September because there is no value for September but we haven't asked it to put a zero in, so it drops right down and back up again. This can be quite useful for keeping your lines continuous without there actually being any data in there, and without you perhaps putting zeros in the data, which skews the look of the chart anyway, as everything drops right down and comes back up. It isn't a zero, data is just not available. Perhaps apples are not sold in April, perhaps they're totally out of season, so there's no point in putting a zero in there. We just map the cells that we do have to give us a pattern or apple sales throughout the year. Select the chart, select data, hidden and empty cells. And what you can do with the empty cells is either leave them as gaps, which is the default, map them as zeros, or just connect the data points that you do have with a line. Okay, so whatever choice you've gone for, okay, applies it to your given chart.